Combined heating and power generation is considered a renewable energy source based upon how it utilizes byproducts of the power generation cycle. There are four simple stages to a combined heating and power or CHP system. Stage 1. It begins by adding a fuel source to a turbine engine or a reciprocating engine. When the fuel source is added to the combustion chamber, the explosive reaction turns the generator of the engine. As the generator creates electricity, that electricity is then delivered to either the local building it's associated with or delivered back into the electrical grid. Stage 2. As a byproduct, the turbine or engine produces exhaust heat temperatures ranging from 800 to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat is captured by funneling it into a heat recovery boiler. The water in the boiler is naturally heated up to produce steam. Stage 3. The steam is captured and then moved into the local building for heating and hot water needs. The steam can also be transferred into an absorption chiller which is cooled to provide air conditioning for the same facility. Stage 4. Any excess steam can then be sent to a smaller steam turbine generator for extra energy production. As you can see, the benefits of installing a CHP system allows any building to become renewable friendly by reducing their electrical consumption from the grid and heating and cooling that building as a natural byproduct of generating electricity. Nothing goes to waste and the system becomes an asset for the building, saving any organization hundreds of thousands of dollars per year in electrical costs. To learn more about CHP and its benefits, please visit www.highlandwestenergy.com or contact us to start a free feasibility analysis to determine if your organization would benefit from a CHP system.